So in this video, we'll be talking about the predicted number of questions that come up in the exam, PLAB 1. So I have arranged the subjects in a descending order where the subject with the highest weightage comes right on the top. That is emergency medicine with 25 questions, pediatrics 20 to 25, psychiatry 20 questions, cardiology 18 questions, gastroenterology 15 to 18 questions, OBGYN or obstetrics and gynecology 15 questions, general surgery 10 to 15 questions, neurology again 10 to 15 questions, respiratory medicine 10 to 12 questions, ENT 8 to 10 questions, nephrology 8 to 10 questions, infectious diseases or microbiology 8 questions, pharmacology 7 to 8, endocrinology 6 to 8, rheumatology 5 to 8, palliative care 4 to 8, critical care 5 to 7, urology 4 to 6 questions. The last few subjects in the list are dermatology 4 to 6 questions, orthopedics and genetics 5 questions each, ophthalmology 4 to 5 questions, hematology 4 to 5 questions, genitourinary 3 to 5, ethics 4, vascular surgery the last one with 2 to 3 questions. So the resources that I have used to study is plabable, uh, only plabable and sometimes I would also read from the plab keys. So the main thing that I used are plab gems, where uh, plabable gems, where I used to study uh, uh, subject wise and then go on and solve the MCQs. And then I, I in the end, I solved the big plab plabable mock. Uh, you can use this list, the subject weightage list to create your own schedule. Or you can, uh, I've also created another schedule that I used during my study preparations. Uh, I leave a link in the description box. You can either watch that or create your own schedule. So the main thing here is create a schedule and stick to it. Work hard and work smart. Thank you.